All right. Welcome to Stranded Sailors Wines. Here, wait a minute. I need to adjust you a little bit. Let's pull you this way. All right. Welcome to Stranded Sailors Wines today. Today we got this second batch. It's Apple wine, Riesling in Germany. That's what they call it. Riesling, apple wine. This is the second batch. We're going to start out with a clean carboy. We set the clean carboy on the floor. We're going to add a couple, three Camden tablets. I'm going to take a spoon, mash up a Camden tablet between the two spoons. The Camden tablets will eliminate any yeast left in the, in the mixture. It will neutralize any yeast. And then we're going to add 1.5 teaspoons a potassium sorbate to stabilize. That way when we back sweeten it, it will not blow the tops off and it will allow, it will stop fermentation but it will allow for back sweetening. Okay, so we used Camden tablets. We used Camden tablets. So I'm going to put the Camden tablets here. I'm going to put 1.5 teaspoons of potassium storbate. I got my glasses on so I can see. Half a teaspoon. We're going to use one, two, Three. That makes 1.5. Now I'm going to put these in a cup of star sand. Back here out of the way. That's potassium sorbate. I'm going to set this out of the way. Now this video is taking place at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm enjoying... A red muscadine wine from Sumner Winery, Stranded Sailors Wines, of course. I'm going to set this back in the refrigerator because I don't want it to get hot. I want you to see it's a nice, beautiful red color. And this video goes out to Sarah, who's been in the hospital today. She had surgery. And I've been thinking about her and I've been waiting on her call and that's the reason this video is so late because I've been waiting on a call from somebody that I really care about. I won't give you her full name, but if you live in Texas and your local news anchor has been missing, then you may know who I'm talking about. So cheers. Sarah, I'm thinking about you, baby. This goes out to you, honey. You are on my mind and you're in my heart. I'm going to pull the bong and the airlock out. I'm going to set it in a cup of star sand. I'm going to pull my cap off. As well, I'm going to Take part of my auto siphon, I'm going to dip it in a cup of star sand to get it wet because it makes it a little easier to go in. I'm going to start my hose. I'm going to dip my auto siphon down into the carboy. I'm going to stick my hose as far down into the clean carboy as I possibly can to eliminate oxygenation. 
Feed it down in there as far as you possibly can. Lift this one up off of the bottom because you do not want to suck the yeast off the bottom, sediment off the bottom. Pump it a couple times. Get it flowing. And then adjust your hose to make sure it's as far down in the bottom as possible. Once again, this video goes out to Sarah. I'm thinking about you, baby. It's been 13 hours since you was, went into surgery. I'm wondering about you, I'm thinking about you. This video is for you, honey. Let me know something. I'm worried. Now this batch was done on May the 12th. First racking was done on May the 28th. We're now on June the 16th. We just added three Camden tablets and one and a half teaspoons of potassium sorbate. So it's been a month to the second racking. Uh, it started out at 12 pounds of apples and three and three pounds and about 12 ounces of raisins. Now, in the last video, I said grapes. I meant to say raisins. I think the raisins is the reason that it's such a dark color. Uh, but the first batch has a wonderful taste to it, I'm glad to say. It has a wonderful taste. You can taste the apples. Once you get it nice and cold, it is a marvelous taste. But I think the raisins is the one reason it is such a dark color. But I am very happy to with the way the first batch has turned out. This is the second batch. The second batch didn't have quite as much apples in it. But I still like to thank the uh, berry patch for supplying the apples to make this batch. Now I'm getting down real close, so I'm going to go on and tilt this over. There is a... Siphon on the bottom of it, but I want to stay off the bottom to keep from picking up what yeast may be left. Now this turned out to be about 15%. Well, it was a little over 15% alcohol to start with. But I'm going to test this when we get done with it to see what it turned out to be. Because like the first batch... It dropped a little during the secondary fermentation, so I want to see how this did. <coughs> and this does have a bunch of sedimentation on the bottom. And I can see that I'm picking up sedimentation already. But the, the first batch, it turned out to be a wonderful amber color. Still very dark in the carboy, but once you put it in a glass, it's a beautiful amber color. Got a wonderful, marvelous taste to it. And this is only the second racking of this, the second batch, so hopefully it'll turn out about the same. But we are going to test this and see what it turns out to be. And there is some sediment left in this, so we're going to leave some behind. We're going to stop right there and leave that sediment behind. You can see we're leaving a bunch of sediment behind. It's very obvious that's the yeast that we're taking out. The 
See, I've got it stirred up because I did pick up some sediment. Once again, it's looking like muddy water, but it was cleared before I started the transfer process. Now, we are going to test this. We're going to take a sip of red muscadine wine. Sarah, may God be with you in your surgery today. It's been 13 hours. I'm waiting on your call, honey. Amen. Bless you, honey. Now, we're going to test this. I'm going to take my turkey baster. We're going to pull out some juice. One more should be enough. All right, let's test this and see what we're working with. I'm right, gonna take my hydrometer out and I'm gonna clean it with star sand and hot water. Anything that tastes the wine, taste, uh, touches the wine needs to be cleaned with star sand, which is a restaurant grade sanitizer. I hope I've put enough juice in. About 1% alcohol. Wait a minute. Leaves 1% alcohol. So this started out at 15%. It's now at 1%. So it should be about a 14% alcohol. All right. I'm going to pull my hydrometer back out. I'm going to clean it with star sand again so I can put it back in its protective sleeve. Rinse it off with hot water. Okay, so the way you calculate that, it started out at 15% alcohol. Now it's at 1%. You take 15%, you subtract 1%, that leaves 14% alcohol. So that's what you should have. 15% subtract 1% leaves 14%. So it should, should be a 14% alcohol. I'm going to pour what was in the cylinder back into the thing. I'm going to put the cap back on. Well, I said I was. Now, I'm not going to taste this this time. I will test, taste it the next time. Because <coughs> this is going to go back in and it's going to... It's going to set for another two or three weeks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the airlock back on it. 
and it's going to sit back in a dark room for another two or three weeks, and I'll transfer it again, and then I'll taste it, and I'll back sweeten it at that time. All right. This is, I'd like to thank everybody for helping me transfer this second batch of apple wine, which in Germany would be called Riesling. Danke schön. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for your time. Tell, you, tell your friends and family. Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Danke schön. Until next time, this is Greg. Thank you. Goodbye. Danke schön.